This will be a walkthrough of Hugh the Rigged Man, a character model for Blender. Hugh comes in a zip folder like this one. If you unzip it, you will see a PDF that has useful tips and information on your purchase. There is a Blender folder. Inside there, there is a Blender Files folder, which has two Blender files. One has a graphic user interface bone picker to make animating easier, and one does not. There is a AutoRigs Pro plugin. The rig uses some advanced features. So these are the free versions of AutoRig Pro that allow you to use all the features of the rig. If you don't install them, most of their features work, but you should install these so you can get all the features. There is a backup textures. The textures are already embedded in the Blender files, so you won't need this, but just in case you have them. There's also a baked textures folder. I baked these, I was going to use them. Um, I did not, but they took so long to bake, I'm, I'm giving them to you anyway. There is a FBX folder. This has four files in here. Two files have Hue with a coat and two files have Hue with a tactical vest and pistol. Of the two with the coat, one has a full face rig and the other has just the body rig with a simple face. Same thing for the one with the tactical vest. The OBJ folder has two files. There's an OBJ with all the outfit pieces in there. This has no rig and it has a MTL file, a material file to go along with the OBJ. When you open the file with the GUI picker, this is what you'll see. If you grab your armature and go to pose mode, you will see these two layers here. This is the primary layer and this is the secondary layer. You can also toggle them here. And over here, you see this layer is for weight painting. So if you're adding clothes, you use this layer for weight painting. Hugh has two outfits and all the pieces are interchangeable. So you can toggle off the coat here. You can toggle off his boots if you want or the belt. And you can turn on the bulletproof vest and pistol and turn on the holster and the pistol in the holster or turn them off as you please. Most of the parts have a sub D modifier. So click apart, go to modifiers, turn off the sub D modifier if you're doing any kind of animating so it's easier to move your model in the real time window. The model also has FK snaps or finger grasp. So if you grab your model, grab say like the hand here, if you hit snap IK FK, it switches it to IK mode. So you can hit G and the arm moves like this. Or if you click it again, it goes to FK mode and the arm moves like this. So two ways of moving. You can also move all the fingers at once. If you grab the hand and drag finger grasp, the whole hand will move. Oops. Or you can grab one knuckle like that and hit S to scale and just one finger moves. Sometimes the GUI picker gets lost. You can zoom way out and can't figure out what's going on. To get it back, hit the end panel, go to view and look for cam UI. So if it's not there, click the box and look for cam UI and either have your mouse over this window and hit number pad zero to snap to the view or go to view viewport camera and it brings your view back. But to keep this where it is, um, hold the shift button and middle mouse drag if you want to zoom in or out or move around. And this way it doesn't get all, it doesn't go all crazy like that. Hue comes with pre-built vizemes and expressions. These are not shape keys. These are saved as pose libraries for the bones. So if you grab your armature, go to edit mode and say grab the bones around the face, around the mouth, you can Go into the armature properties and look for, say, smile here and click this magnifying glass shape and he smiles. Or you can change him to be angry. So this is kind of nice because all these expressions are already built. There are some visims here, like here is an ah shape or an O shape. So this can make it a little bit easier to do your animations. 
Most of the materials are adjustable. So if you go to the shading workspace and say pick the hair, you'll see a box. Usually a box like this indicates that something is adjustable. That's how I set it up. So if you adjust this here, it goes dark or light. You can, for the skin, if you click that, you can see here this adjusts between light skin or dark skin. And then over here, this adjusts the stubble for the light skin. And up here, adjust the stubble for the dark skin. Uh, the jacket's adjustable in the same way. Blue or black. And the vest is also adjustable. You can do desert camo or black. And also this badge here, there's a, you can adjust the, the, um, texture map for this so you can change this to whatever you want or you can toggle it off and not have a badge at all. I almost forgot if you grab your armature and go to pose mode here you've got your GUI picker and so this makes it so much easier to grab little parts say if you wanted to grab just part of the mouth you could do it like that and use G to move it, or if you wanted to move just one part of the eyebrow, you can move it individually. So this just makes it a lot easier to pick things. That's a basic walkthrough of some of the features. I hope this helps you get started with using Hue's Rig.